Hello, Ian Richardson from 3K Electronic Designs here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a very simple PIC project. It's an LED blinker, and this can act as a basis for more complicated projects. I'll show you how to download and install the MPLAB X uh, integrated development environment, an XC8 compiler, and the microchip code configurator. The equipment that you'll need is the PIC Kit 3 programmer a PIC 16F1613 device um, and a breadboard. This is how we connect the PICKIT3 programmer uh, to the device itself. There are only five connections needed. We've got ground, power, VPP, the programming voltage, program clock and program data. We don't use the low voltage programming connection for this uh, project. The next thing we need to do is to go to the microchip.com website and download and install the MPLAB X um, development system um, and the XC8 compiler for C um, and also the MPLAB uh, configurator and now Microship have an excellent video showing how to do that so there's no point in me going over that again now once that's installed the next thing to do is go to file menu and create a new project then we do that at the microchip embedded project. Go to next, and here we enter our device that we're using, which in our case is our 16F1613. And we go to the next, and we leave that as it is. Then we select our tool, which is our PIC Kit 3. In this case, go to next and select our a compiler which would be the latest compiler that we have go to next and now we put in our project name um, which in our case is going to be LED blinker and we can leave the project directory as the default for the moment finish that now we can see it's created our, our project folders for us but at the moment we have no files of course because we haven't created any any files yet or, or uh, any software. So the next thing we do is open up the configurator by clicking the blue button on the toolbar and wait a few seconds for that to open. So we can save the, just leave the configuration file at the default. OK that. So now we see we have our configurator window and the first thing to look at is the system module um, which uh, we use to set the, the clock source for the micro. So we're going to want to use the internal clock for this project. And so we select, make sure we've selected internal oscillator. Select int osc on here as well. And then we select the frequency that we want. So we're just going to use 4 megahertz in this case. And so once we've done that we can now look at the pin module so we're going to look at the at the pins um, so we're going to set in fact all the pins as outputs um, for this project as uh, we, we don't need any inputs it's always best to set unused pins um, to be outputs now we can see all the pins we've uh, assigned now are now listed um, in this list um, but we need to check um, also the settings in here and we can also see that these have been set uh, as analogs analog uh, inputs which is not what we want so um, we need to untick those boxes there because the analog will take priority over the, the output and force it to be an input which is not what we want so we remove those we make sure we have our, all our outputs boxes ticked so the next thing that we want to do is click on the generate button and that will generate the entire code for our project um, including all these configurations that we've just set up uh, and it will leave us with a framework that we can use to um, put our own code into the project and then we click the MCC button again to close uh, the configurator and we can now look uh, into, into our folder here we see we have files now um, in here so we have our uh, it's created a main dot uh, c for us and uh, it's also created these um, configuration files for configuring our 
device um, so that's where all our information that we entered in the configurator is stored so now if we open um, our main our main dot C and we can scroll down a little bit we can see that it's created um, our main function for us here we've got our initialization um, which is created automatically so now we can go down to our while loop and we're going to add some code to actually make the LED blink. So each time we come around this loop we want to toggle that LED and invert, effectively invert its value. So to do that uh, in C we, we, in, we exclusive OR with 1 and this is how we write um, that in C, that exclusive OR with 1 and every time you exclusive OR something with 1 you effectively invert that value. So this will toggle the LED, cause it to blink every time we go around this loop. So that's what we want there. Now, and that's going to, if we let that go as it is, it's going to rattle around there very, very quickly in a couple of microseconds, and we won't even see it. So we need to put um, a delay in there. Put a delay in in microseconds. So we're going to put a million, which is of course one second. So now we'll be able to see our LED blinking. Now the only problem is the compiler at the moment doesn't know what we mean by LED so we have to tell it. We go back to the top above our main loop and we're going to put a hash define in there. And we're going to say what we mean by LED, what we mean is a lat A, which is the output latches, lat A bits and we, get, we have a list here and we pick bit 2 which is the bit that we want to use so now um, it knows what our what we mean by LED it's all happy no red squiggly lines so the next thing we can do with that is to uh, make that compile that and see if it works so we click our compile button build main project and see what happens and that all looks good uh, there's just a little warning there it's nothing to worry about it's just referring to some unused um, code that we don't need. The important thing is it tells us here build successful. So now we're ready to program our device but first we need to check some settings on the PIC kit. So we go back to our projects folder, right click, uh, open up the menu there, down to properties and on the left hand side here we select PIC kit 3 and what we're interested in is power options for pick it three to select power and we need to check the voltage that we're going to operate at which uh, 5 volts is fine um, but we also in this case we want to power our target device um, from the pick kit programmer the pick it three so we want to tick that box and then we can say OK to that and once that's done we now can program our device make and program our device, the green uh, arrow button, we click that and we wait to see what happens. Okay, we can confirm that uh, the device is in fact the correct device. Don't want to see that again. Okay, and it should begin to program our device. So we can see some lights flashing on the programmer, that's a good sign. And we'll just wait for it to finish. And we can see the program is successful. And then we can see that the LED is in fact flashing as we expected. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, uh, do feel free to leave them below. I'll try to answer them if I can. Uh, my name is Ian Richardson. Thanks for watching.